Well, I'm out at Allemand Creamery with uh, Finley McLeod, and uh, it's, it's almost uh, been so exciting. The news has been dripping out for the last week or so. These, the future technology <laughs> for cartons of milk. But it, it, I mean, I'm slightly being joking there, but it does seem the obvious thing now, Finley, that plastic is bad. Everyone's talking about you know, this one-use plastic. Is this in response to that sort of thing? You're absolutely right. The market leader in the world is a company called Tetra Pak in, in terms of milk cartons. And uh, we are very pleased to say that uh, Isle Man Creamery is going to be the first dairy in the entire British Isles who will be using uh, plant-based cartons which are 100% sustainable and renewable. The card uh, comes from uh, Forest Stewardship Council certified uh, forestry and what used to be made of oil-based plastic, i.e. The, the lids and the lining of the card, is now going to be coming from uh, sugarcane. So no oil-based plastics at all in these new cartons. Uh, you obviously found from feedback that the public have an appetite for this sort of thing. Does it come at a price though? It does. The, the cartons are quite a bit more expensive than uh, the, the previous cartons that we've used. But we've taken a view that we've really got to do the right thing. Every business has got um, a responsibility to do the right thing in terms of reducing plastic consumption in particular. So I mean, we've left it till now to do the interview because I think you're getting ready to put these into the marketplace, right? Yes. These will be on uh, supermarket shelves and delivered to uh, doorsteps on Monday. That's Monday the 10th of September. So we've already got somebody over from Italy uh, today on site who's adjusting the, uh, the, our machines, our filling machines, to take the new cartons because in addition to the, the cartons being much more environmentally friendly, they're actually going to be a bit more uh, user-friendly as well in that there's a, a wider cap. This is now a 34 millimetre cap uh, rather than a 28 millimetre cap, which just makes it easier to open and also makes it easier to pour uh, from the carton. There's, I think that the forums and, and various news outlets have been quite, uh, you know, going with this story and, and not maybe an odd spin or two on it, like it, you can't recycle this after all, but what's your answer to that? Is this recyclable? The carton is 100% recyclable. Right. What uh, isn't in place at the moment is a process uh, for recycling these cartons or any carton on the Isle of Man. But what we're hoping is that the island will move away from plastic bottles uh, and as far as possible two cartons and then once you get a critical mass of cartons then you can economically and viable, viably recycle them. Uh, in the interim they're going into uh, the uh, energy from waste plant which is a very very clean and efficient way of producing electricity again not using any oil based uh, uh, you know, fuels uh, it's using waste products and byproducts from uh, uh, industry on the on the island and that's now generating 10 percent of the island's electricity i mean i'm, I'm a plastic guy the, t the, the bigger one you bring one of those over that's this is what we've all been used to and of course that i put in the bin and go oh, what size that is and, the, and you must bring these over in car in containers don't you we do ready made up yeah? these the, these are uh, the existing plastic bottles and we will still be supplying them uh -huh. Uh, basically because our research has shown over the years that people like the poly bottle, uh, mm. basically because it's got a handle and people can see how much is left in the, in the, the bottle. However, we are hoping that people will switch to something which is completely oil-based, plastic-free. Um, it's not just in the, uh, in the uh, carton itself where there's a saving. In the transport of the, the packaging materials, there's a massive saving. We have to transport these fully assembled. Uh, like, so you do like, a, a like big this. container like that? Absolutely, wow. yes. They don't and have the caps on. These are all flat packed like this. Uh, got a few compared them. to the, yeah. uh, the cartons, it's come flat packed. Mm. So on a 40-foot container, we can get uh, about 670,000 uh, flat packed cartons. Now, to pack the same amount of milk as one lorry load of cartons, we would need nine lorry loads of plastic bottles. And that goes for any plastic bottles on the island. If, it's, uh, if it was a, an imported non-Manx milk, uh, like Yo Valley or Cravendale, that plastic is coming in that format. The beauty is, you'll know 
how quickly the market moves because you just, you, you're doing this daily product, right? So it could move very fast, but you're ready. And, and I think the other man's feels like it's ready to go this way, right? We, we are absolutely ahead of the game. There are some companies, dairies in Scandinavia and in Holland who are currently already using uh, plant-based cartons, but we are going to be the first in the British Isles. So I think that's a real right. celebration for, for the island. And, and let's be clear again, is it slightly smaller than the old ones and it's more expensive or not? I mean, this, this no, is no uh, they, are, they are not more expensive. It's uh, because it's, there is a limited supply of these plant-based cartons. Um, the manufacturer isn't going to be doing pint cartons. And uh, so we actually went out to the market and uh, we asked consumers feedback uh, on uh, how they felt about pints versus litres, what the perception of price would be. Uh, and we asked 8,000 people on the Isle of Man, so virtually 10% of the population, we asked for their views. And uh, what they came across with, there was a, initially there was a little bit of resistance for the traditional pint, mm -hmm. but when they discovered that uh, this is a 100% sustainably uh, and renewable uh, product, they were very, very enthusiastic about it. And it overcame the initial uh, sentimentality towards the pint. Uh, on, to answer your question about pricing, half a litre is going to now be uh, 55 pence as opposed to 60 pence for the, the, the pint. So it's very, very slightly more expensive per uh, milliliter for half liter versus the old pint. However, the liters are going to be one pound uh, and that is now the cheapest way to buy Manx milk. So we want people to buy a biggest? One we want to buy people, uh, okay, we want people so. to buy uh, the more milk <laughs> <laughs> yeah more milk would be good but we want people yeah. to switch to ideally the the liter okay. uh, carton and it is the best value why not glass i mean just throwing that one in, you know the old days is that never it's, with an it's option a very very uh, obvious question we did a lot of research into uh, the possibility of of starting glass uh, manufacturing in uh, 2014 when we bought our new carton machine and and we've kept up to date with the, the, the available research and there is a, an organization called the uh, it's the journal of sustainable life cycle uh, analysis and they are very very clear that glass was by by far not the most environmentally friendly oh, well, it was recyclable to some i mean yeah the, isn't that uh, absolutely yeah. no what you've got to consider is that when you, uh, when you use a carton that's plant-based, mm -hmm. these particular cartons, for every litre carton, is actually taking out 21 grams of uh, CO2 from the atmosphere. So it's carbon negative. So you're reducing your, your carbon footprint by using these cartons. Whereas an average bottle uh, of glass bottle is actually throwing out 300 grams of uh, of CO2 into the atmosphere and its manufacture. Then you have the fact that it is going to uh, be transported, fully assembled, uh, you know, like, the, like the plastic bottles, uh, probably less space uh, efficient. So you're going to have to transport a lot more um, or, or use a lot more lorries to transport the same mm -hmm. amount. But of you can reuse product. them, right? I mean, so is that the, this saving, or is that still people well, washing and when, when you're reusing them, you have to use very hot water. Yeah. You have to uh, use uh, detergents, which again, that's high energy consumption and high use of detergent. Right. So, in the overall analysis, independently done. Uh, then it's okay. very, very clear that these are much, much more environmentally friendly than glass. Do you think ever you'll see a time when I'll be back here saying that's the end of plastic? Do you think you, they, will, they can't be a complete move, can they? I mean, you that, still need them? That one? would be fantastic. Uh, we would love to see the end of, of, of plastic. And the, if, the, if the day comes that uh, we can turn off uh, our machine that fills plastic bottles, I, I personally will be delighted. And of course, I was just thinking, you do have these contracts with large supermarkets who have their own policies in place, don't they? So yes. you have to do what they tell you to some degree, right? It's they say plastic, you've got to use plastic. Uh, well, no? yes, and uh, we uh, have continued using the, the, the plastic bottle and having it available, really because currently 
that is the preferred uh, solution. Will, will supermarkets see uh, this new stuff as well or not? Th these are going to be available in all of the supermarkets on the island. So okay. we've got full distribution and our doorstep customers will be getting them as well on Monday morning. <laughs>